Hi guys, this is Akhil Kamid. Welcome back to my channel uh, once again. So guys, I just want to start this video by saying a very happy new year to all of you. Uh, a lot of you have noticed this is my very first video of the year 2022. So I hope you all had a great Christmas and it's uh, now back to reality. Now, I haven't been, uh, I haven't done a video in ages due to other commitments. So uh, I am pleased to say I am back now. So uh, without talking too much, so guys, uh, with this video, basically all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to import uh, a create uh, a look a look sorry create a look uh, which is a lookup table as many of you know. So I'm going to create a lookup table in uh, Photoshop and then I'm going to export that and import it into uh, DaVinci Resolve. So that's all we're doing. So I'm not going to turn this. Uh, I'm not going to turn this into a color grading tutorial because uh, this video will drag on forever and then it's going to just get boring. So uh, I'm just going to get straight to the point. So uh, without further ado, guys, so now this is an image that I've taken randomly a few years ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tweak with the colors. So what I'll do is so let's just say, for example, I'm going to sort of like just mess with the uh, with the highlights and darks or what have you. So I'm just going to sort of like go like, just uh, mess with the mid-tones a little bit. Like I say guys, I'm not going to turn this into a, a color grading tutorial because it will get a bit boring and this video is going to drag on forever. So, so what I'm basically doing here is I'm just going to sort of like mess with the colors a little bit just so you guys can see the uh, difference uh, when I import it into DaVinci Resolve. So uh, the highlights I'm just going to mess around with. Then the mid-tones. Now, uh, what I'm also going to do here is, is I'm just going to go into the adjustments and just mess with the uh, colors a little bit as well. So I'll just mess with the uh, levels a little bit. So I'm just going to drag this over here. Just give it a bit of detail with this image and then I'm going to mess with the mid-tones once again just to gain all that information back. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm not too happy with this. Uh, I'm not too happy with this, uh, the way this image is showing at the moment. So I'm just going to drag the darks down a little bit. So there, there you go guys. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give this uh, image a bit of color just so again you guys can see the uh, difference when I import it. So I'm going to give it that little bit of a cinematic grading effect here. Then I'm going to sort of like mess with the blues a little bit just to give it that you know warm kind of uh, cinematic kind of effect. Now I, whenever I edit images I'll always add uh, try to mess with the colors just because I'm you know, when it comes to cinematography you know I, I can be a bit of a, a geek on that you know I sort of like love I'm a big fan of uh, cinematics kind of uh, images so I always try to make it as cinematic as possible so let's just say for example now to be honest I can do more with this image but I'm not gonna uh, you know, make it any more. I think it's looking good the way it is right now. So what I'm gonna do here is basically I'm gonna drag the. Uh, this is gonna be sort of like, if you like, our preset. So we're just gonna call this our little preset, a lookup table, in other words. So what what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna export this and then uh, use this as a preset in one of my uh, DaVinci Resolve videos. So the way I do that is, uh, let's just say I'm happy with what I've done. I mean, technically speaking, you can still uh, go on forever and drag with uh, drag the colors and images or what have you. You know, you can carry on doing that. But I'm just going to leave it as it is because I'm actually happy with that. So uh, the next thing what we want to do is now, obviously, you might have a different image that you want to mess around with. So you might want to uh, adjust some more settings but let's just say you're happy with the image and you've got what you want so what i'll do is i'll go on to file then i'll go on to export and then uh, the next thing i'll do is you see over here 
color lookup table. I'm going to click on this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to give this a name. So let's just call this just for the sake of it. I mean, you can call it what you want, but let's just say I'm going to call this. Uh, I'll just call this a lot. And then I'm going to. Oh, and also, guys, one thing I must stress, always make sure that this cube file is uh, ticked. That that's a must. That's very important. Always make sure that this uh, cube file is ticked, uh, because otherwise it's not going to do it. So uh, when I say pre, uh, when I say uh, look lookup table, the other word you can use is cube. So we're going to uh, convert this into a cube file. Click on OK. Now I'm going to make sure this is going to go on my desktop just so I can find it easy. Then I'm going to save. So now I'm going to go back to my desktop. Now there, you can see over here, it's created that cube file here. So the cube files on my desktop, I always leave it on the desktop because it's easier to find. So I'm going to open up my uh, DaVinci Resolve here. Now this is where the fun starts. So what I'm going to do is once I've got the DaVinci Resolver open, what I'm going to do is make sure you click on this color, this color tab here. And then once I'm in the color tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the LUTs, which is over here. And uh, basically all I'm going to do is now you see this uh, cog at the bottom uh, right here, settings. All I'm going to do here is, is basically I'm going to click on that. And then once you uh, you need to be in the color management tab here. Once you're in the color management tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on open LUT folders. So when I click on open look folders, this is basically all the uh, LUTs that came with DaVinci Resolve. This is where it's actually stored. So make sure you click on this open look folders. So this is where all the LUTs are st uh, stored by default in DaVinci Resolve. So what I'm going to do here is basically I'm going to go to, uh, let's just say, just going to go on to so I'll just uh, go on to there again. Then I'm going to go on to open look folders there. And all I'm going to do here is basically, guys, I'm just going to go to the desktop. And remember what we saved our look as? We saved it as. Uh, stores all its looks. And then this is the cube file. Remember we saved this, uh, the cube file. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this into this folder. So now we've got the cube file uh, we've dragged the cube file into the uh, folder where DaVinci Resolve hides all its uh, look files. Then I'm going to go back into DaVinci Resolve and go back into settings and then up uh, then open look folder. Now you can see I've uh, got my cube file in there which is expected so I'm going to close that and now this is very important always once you've dragged the file into there always click on update lists because that what what that'll do is, is it'll update the list of uh, the LUTs that are stored in that folder and click save. That is a must. Always make sure you do that, otherwise it's not gonna be saved. So now I'm gonna go into my LUTs uh, panel here, and then I'm gonna go down and remember what we saved it in. Uh, saved it as we saved this as the uh, LUT file. So I'm gonna try and find that file here. Actually. You know what guys, this is the one. I know it's not labeled uh, properly, but this is the one. If I go back to here, now 19, can you see here? No, sorry, not, we're looking at this one. Can you see over here it says 933-2? Uh, uh, technically speaking, I should have actually labeled it properly. But that's but if it's a cube file, you know that's the one. But I would recommend you labeling it just so you know. So there it is, 332-2. Hyphen And I, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a no, add a node here. Then I'll drag that on. Now all I'm going to do is drag my created uh, lot here. Then drag it on. And there you go, guys. I mean, look at that. All I've basically done here is I've uh, added color to my JPEG uh, photo. I've exported it onto my desktop. Once I'm in the desktop, I go into the settings, 
open look folder, drag that created file into here. And then once I've done that, update list and then save. That is a must you follow that process. But you can see here, all I've basically done here in a nutshell, I've added colors in here. I've created my own cube file, otherwise known as a LUT, and I've exported it and I've added it onto my video footage. And just to prove that this is a video footage and not an image, there you can see it's moving. So there, that's all I've done, guys. Basically, that was it. Like I say, you know, you probably noticed if I click on before and after, look, you've noticed that the uh, it, it doesn't give us the proper cinematic look because as I said in the beginning, you know, I don't want to turn it into a color grading tutorial. The whole purpose of this uh, video was to show you how to create a, a preset, otherwise known as a cube file and import it into DaVinci Resolve. So that was all basically all I wanted to show you guys, you know, straightforward, simple, straight to the point. You know, if you do have any questions, guys, please uh, post them into the uh, comment box below. But I hope uh, this has helped uh, a lot of you. If, if uh, there's something I haven't explained, you know, you can always pop your questions below. And be sure to follow me on my social media, guys. I will be posting more videos like this. So, uh, there you have it guys, so I hope uh, this video has given you a kickstart for 2022 and um, as always guys, please support this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, like, share, subscribe, do what you have to do guys and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, thank you for watching, bye for now.